All right, my lovelies, welcome to KQT Photography. I'm KQT and we're going to look at some photography today. So I'm not going to be taking any photography. Uh, what it is, is I found a roll of FP4 in a box. So several years old, don't know what's on it, could be anything. So why don't we find out? Now then, when you're learning to develop film, you've got to follow some certain steps. So, step one, cup tea. Step two, it's a very good idea to look up what you're doing first, because if you don't know what you're doing, you're just gonna make a right mess of it, aren't you? So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to a page which is called Digital Truth Massive Dev Chart for Film Developers. It's brilliant. It's got everything. So uh, I've entered in the side. I'm processing Ilford FP4 Plus. And down on the bottom, I've selected Rodnell because I will be using Rodnell. Yes. Okay. Now then. It's always good to keep notes, keep notes of everything. So then, if you need to do it next time, you don't need to get your laptop out and write it again, do you? So, I've only written Fomapan on here, so I'm going to write now, Ilford, FB4. Now, I'm going to be using a 1 to 50 ratio, so I will look and I will go 1 to 50 ratio. Uh, right, the ISO, you need to check what you've got. Here's the, the roll and it says FP4, 125. So I've shot it at 125, I hope. We don't know that because it's an old film. But 125 at a 1 to 50 ratio, we are looking at 15 minutes. 15 minutes, 15 minutes in rod null. Okay, then. We need to know what we've got next. Stop bath. This stop bath says stop time 20 seconds. 20 seconds at 20 degrees. I'm hoping we're at 20, 20 degrees. 20 secs. Then fixer. Fixer. Five minutes at a 1 to 4 ratio for film. So five minutes. Now. In my previous video, if you saw, I had some film that had lots of watermarks on it. So uh, I was watching shoot film like a boss and he used rinse aid. So I thought I'd get some rinse aid, see what it does. One to 200, so uh, it says five mils for a litre of water. I'm only gonna be using 500 mils. So 2.5 should suffice. We will see. Now then, let's get rid of this and crack on, shall we? Jugs. Now, rod no. I'm making 500 milliliters. So I'm gonna want about 10 mil. 10 mil will do, 10 mil will do the job. So what I've got here, one of these. Very handy, make sure you've got one. Uh, I'm gonna fill this jug up to just under 500 mil. So I've got about 490 mil in there. I'm going to put in another 10 mil of rod knot, and that's what we're going to end up with. So now I had a bit of trouble opening the lid last time, but it seems to have worked out. Seems to have smoothed out. Now be careful, this stuff can squirt all over the place. All right, that'll do it. So I'm going to just measure. All right, that's four mil. Okay, that wasn't enough. So there's four. I'm gonna pour out a little bit more. That's nine. Let's see if we can get another mill out of this without having to pour more. <laughs> nine and a half. Ten. That'll do it. That'll do. So ten mil. Ten mil in that one. Five hundred mil water altogether. Uh, so. 
Just going to use this uh, handy thermometer here to check the temperature and give it a stir. Now, because I've been developing with this sort before, we've got pre-mixed. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this up, 500 ml worth of stop. Now let's hope that these chemicals are still, yeah, they look all right. Very yellow, looks like I've peed in a bottle, but it's fine. I haven't pissed in this jug. There we are. Right, next, fix. Another 500 ml. Boom. What we're going to do, we've got it in here. So, I already put it in. I didn't want you to have to watch me sit there for 10 minutes debating my life decisions while I tried to get this medium format roll of film into the bloody reel. So, FP4, 15 minutes in Rodnall. We're going to need a timer, except what I've gone and done is I'm using my phone for the audio, so I can't do that, can I? So, get yourself a cheap, get yourself a cheap timer, like I'm, I'm going to use a laptop, you know, just, just happens to be what I've got on hand. Uh, see, I would use my phone, but I'm using it for the voice. I'm, I'm recording my voice with it, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open up the clock in the, top, in the little corner there, so I know what time it is. It's now then, okay. 15 minutes of rod now, eh? Let's check the temperature. Temperature is too low. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on the hot tap. I'm going to put the plug in when it gets warm. The trick is here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this in the hot water so that the outside heat can warm this up because at the moment 15 degrees centigrade, that is not what you want. Yes, it's good warm. What I will do is I will let that settle for a few minutes and uh, then we will be we will be back. Now then, it's just coming up to 20 degrees now. Yeah, there we go. That'll do. That'll do. It's a little bit damp. It's fine. So, now that that's at 20 degrees, I'm going to stick this in here for 15 minutes. Oh, that's tight. Okay, here we go. 20 degrees centigrade. In it goes. I'm going to stick the lid on. And I'm going to check the time, and I'm going to agitate it slightly, and also just give it a little, little tap to get the bubbles out. Now then, see you in 15 minutes. So we're just coming up to 15 minutes and it's become apparent to me that my tank has a leak in it. So, uh, nothing I can do about it, but I, I, I did suspect that. I just thought maybe I, I had made a lot of mess, but uh, this time I kept it dry and no, I've got a leak. Oh well. Okay, it's time to take this out. So, I'm going to pour it into here. Oh, this one comes out yellow. See, uh, the last roller film, which you would have seen on my previous video, came out green. That was interesting. I wasn't expecting it to come out green. So, Fomapan green, Ilford yellow. That's interesting. Okay. Now we're going to want to get the stock in there. Now that only needs to be in there for 20 seconds. So... I'm just going to agitate it a little. I'm going to watch the clock. 
There we go. Right. That's the stop done. And now we stick the fix in there for five minutes. Okay, five minutes. While that does that, 3920, so it will be ready at 44.20. So I'm going to put the remaining rod knot in here, not to use it next time, but to dispose of it. Starting to suspect the leaks are coming from the seal at the top because I just saw something drip. So it could well be. Okay, I'm going to rinse this one out. Let me check temperature of whatever's going in here. That'll do the trick. So, got the water to 20 degrees again. Give this a little agitation. I'm done with the lid. The lid is on. Old stop. I'm going to keep that because it's got some more uses in it. Saving money. This would have cost me 10 quid to do uh, in the shop. Maybe more. There might not even be anything on this roller film. I should probably start measuring this out because it's about time that one goes in. I made a start on it and then I stopped. Now, new bottle so I'll get through this. This is the worst part. So I need two and a half mil. Just gonna rip this. There we go. Two and a half. There we are. Two and a half. In it goes. Just give it a little. There we are. That's the rinse aid. Twenty degrees. Time to pour this one out. Just give it a little agitation first. Now, mix them up, but I'm pretty certain it's this one. There's the fix. It is starting to look a bit dirty. I'm just going to rinse this one out anyway. pour the rinse in. So in that one goes. Stick the lid on, agitate it and we've got until 9.50 and 30 seconds to get five minutes. That's what time it is. I'm gonna stick my fixer back in here because uh, I could probably use that again. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. So apparently my battery ran out on the camera. So we don't know when that ran out, but it's time for the great reveal. So I've emptied it out. And I found a roll of film inside with one picture on it. So, uh, I mean, it's not entirely pointless, but uh, I'm quite surprised they only took one. Um, okay, I'm going to go hang it up. And here we are. So uh, I've got a picture of a dog. Uh, it's just the one picture. Um, I did have a little think and I do know whose dog this is and I'll be sending them the picture. Um, it's the only shot that really came out. Uh, one thing I will note is I it was my first time using the rinse aid 
and I don't think I rinsed it enough because most of the film is quite hazy as you can see which is kind of lucky that all the haze is over um, what appear to be some extremely dark shots um, so what I have figured out is that there are some shots on here uh, but they are extremely underexposed so here you can just about see uh, somebody's got a guitar there another one you can just about see another guitar uh, I'm going to take uh, some scans and just see if I can actually get anything out of them just to figure out what's going on but this this fog here is just it, it's, it's bad it's really bad so uh, I would be quite curious to see how those turn out um, yeah so uh, overall though the, the picture of the dog is the one that I love. I love this picture. Um, I'm going to send it to my friend and hopefully she loves it too. So, yeah, uh, I'll catch you on the next one. I've, I've been promising uh, some Lomochrome purple, but uh, it will come. Uh, just not in the next video, probably. But maybe maybe the next video after that depending on the weather. I, I really want to shoot it in uh, clear skies because the only time I've ever had the opportunity to shoot Lomochrome Purple has been overcast and I really feel like I could push more out of it in the sun. So uh, yeah, I'll uh, catch you on the next one.